from the Hummingbird Network's monthly roundup. The Digest then informs you what is new with top tech brands and consumer tech topics each month. Today we are taking an in-depth look at what is new from Netgear. Plus, we will review ways to improve home Wi-Fi speeds and the new working from anywhere work model. Stay tuned to improve your network because big things have been happening. Let's get into it. Netgear has a new offering starting on April 27th. You get one year of their Insight Cloud Management, including with some hardware purchases. To learn more about this offering, you can contact one of our sales staff here at Hummingbird Networks. Netgear's Nighthawk Wi-Fi router have long been great standalone wireless network gear. In the latest models, the Nighthawk has finally moved to the mesh generation. Experience better Wi-Fi coverage, speed, and new connection capabilities for maximum performance of your home Wi-Fi. Netgear has also introduced an AV line switch, an entirely new series of switches developed and engineered for the growing audio video over IP market. These AV line switches combine years of networking expertise with best practices from leading experts in the professional AV market. Lastly, Netgear has introduced Insight Content Filtering. It provides effective DNS filtering and malware protection for your company and staff when online. Netgear's Insight latest version dramatically simplifies the job of network administration and allows them to maximize network uptime while optimizing performance. With Netgear Insight, experience a new way to manage your network from anywhere. This wraps up the brand update portion of the monthly roundup. Next, we're gonna be moving on and talking about how to speed up your home Wi-Fi and the working from anywhere business model. As working from home is now quickly becoming entrenched in the workforce, a reliable internet connection is a must. Slow connections are the bane of anyone now working or extending their home. If you're experiencing lag, the problem might be on your end. Connectivity drops, bottlenecks, slow content streaming and downloads, or simply slow speeds are all common issues with home internet. Before you call your ISP, try these easy tips to get back online fast. Now, you need a connection to maintain a remote Microsoft Teams work meeting, your child is using Zoom while attending a virtual lesson, and another person is gaming at the same time. So having enough bandwidth is important. If bandwidth is your issue, disconnect any devices not actively being used, or try connecting directly to the router with an Ethernet cable. If the bandwidth issue persists, it's best to upgrade your internet package or change wireless solutions to alternatives like mesh wireless. It is a little thing, but putting your router in the right place can make a big difference. You want your Wi-Fi device in a centralized location. That is why many offices place their routers on the ceiling. You will also want to keep your access point away from walls. Mesh gear using APs is great for coverage in a large home, but a fast standalone router is fast and reliable if it is in a central location to where most devices will be used. Your Wi-Fi network is only as fast as the standards it supports. So for instance, if your laptop supports 802.11ac, but your AP only supports 802.11n, or vice versa, you will not see any performance boost. To get the most from Wi-Fi, you need to upgrade your router to support the fastest practical code. Older routers often offer two different networks at the same time. One that runs at 2.4 GHz and another that runs at 5 GHz. Often with these numbers, you can see at the end of the networking. Think of the 2.4 network as the slow link. It can travel farther, but cannot transmit data as quickly. The 5 network is faster, but can't travel as far through walls. Newer Wi-Fi routers automatically switch you to whichever is best for wherever you're trying to connect, but older ones ask you to make the call, so try switching it up if it's slower. If you think the limitation lies with your router, it may be time to start saving up for a new one. Upgrading your router every two years or so is good practice and can help you avoid certain issues altogether. We have a variety of different Wi-Fi routers and access points that can help boost your speed. Well, that should get you going. If you have any suggestions for optimizing network performance, please start a conversation with us on social channels. Welcome to the world of working from anywhere. Working from anywhere means a person can effectively perform their job from a variety of locations, whether it be the office, the home, or anywhere really. The pandemic has exposed the need for companies to enable their teams to be productive from anywhere. The work from anywhere model offers obvious benefits to companies and their employees. Organizations can reduce and eliminate real estate costs, hire global talent, and perhaps enjoy productivity gains. Workers get geographic flexibility, eliminate commutes, and a better work-life balance. However, concerns persist regarding how work from anywhere affects communication, including brainstorming, problem solving, knowledge sharing, socialization, and mentoring. But don't get tied down by the concerns an investment in creating a great company culture and the right technology 
will bring a thriving remote workforce. The most important ways to support a work from anywhere model are by investing in collaboration tools, dedicated support for employees, security technology, and an adjustment to the workplace policies. Many companies have embraced a work from anywhere model, but most are not prepared for what comes next. The next workplace flexibility is not about saving money nor about long-term social distancing. In the end, it's an investment in employee well-being, productivity, and ultimately profitability. There's no doubt that remote work is on the rise. It's easier than ever to stay connected in our era of email and smartphone, and many employees believe it increases their quality of life. Please let us know if you are now working remotely permanently and how you enjoy or dislike working remotely on our social channels. To learn more about supporting changing dynamic workforces, check out our blog and resource library at hummingbirdnetwork.com. And we will have all those links in the description for you as well. Well, that is all we have for this episode of the Hummingbird Network's Monthly Roundup. Thanks for watching today. We hope you learned a lot. Join us again for our next Monthly Roundup. Make sure you subscribe so that you never miss an episode. Plus, if you haven't already, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Visit HummingbirdNetworks.com for all your networking and technology needs. Until next time.